when you were a kid, have you ever felt weird playing Super Mario 64? Have you felt like something was watching you over your shoulder? Have you felt the feeling of isolation and loneliness while playing certain levels? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some personal experiences that I have that genuinely creep me out and that still creep me out to this day when it comes to Super Mario 64. What's up guys, I'm Roger, aka Rob Man, and I've been playing Super Mario 64 again recently, and there are some things about this game that still genuinely creep me out. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about actually is the thing that you're seeing on the screen right now, and that is the quote unquote negative energy that is surrounding wet dry world now this is a pretty popular topic when it comes to creepy subjects about uh super mario 64 but i absolutely can relate to this one there is something about the wet dry world that just throws me off compared to all the other worlds that are presented in the game now why do i feel this way let's get right into it well first is that weird skyline that's in the background that really has no point of being there um this the way that it is very boxy and it makes you feel very very strange another thing is this world feels really this desolate and that's one thing that is creepy about super mario 64 and i'm gonna go into a little bit uh more detail about that later in the video but this really stands out in wet dry world uh there's actually a section of the level that has like a town nobody's there nobody is there even when you take a look at, at, at other levels like i don't know coco mountain or or bomb on battlefield every level has npcs well most level have has npcs but the one level that has a town in it has zero npcs that is a little odd to me man and i just kind of feel like what the vibes of this this world kind of gives me test test level vibes like this is kind of a level that kind of wasn't supposed to make the cut but they kind of made it just so they can test out different elements of the game you know water uh different things like that it feels just incomplete and lastly what makes me feel weird about this game or this this world is the music now wet dry world isn't underground so why does it have the underground theme this is a this is practically a water world so i wouldn't be terribly upset if they gave it the water music theme instead they decided to give it the creepy mysterious underground cavern theme that is heard um in hazy maze cave that is just super unsettling to me but that's pretty much it about wet dry world it just overall very very weird honestly honestly i think it's probably the worst world in the game um but that's just my personal opinion but let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that I found creepy in Super Mario 64. Now, I haven't really heard anybody talk about the paintings in Super Mario 64. There is a weird feeling that I get when I look at these paintings, specifically the one for Tiny Huge Island. You see those two giant ju uh, Joombas. You see those two giant Goombas, that's a tongue twister, staring down at you and you get creeped out especially when you have to go to the the really really big painting and those goombas are even bigger bro creepy there's this weird kind of feeling i don't i can't really it's almost liminal like this a lot of things that are creepy about super mario 64 have to do with liminal spaces this is a lot of people's first experience with liminal spaces and i believe it makes a lot of things even more creepier because of one thing this game isn't trying to be creepy there's nothing in this game there's a few things like bowser things that you know can creep you out but the main things that people find creepy is 
completely not Super Mario 64's intention, which makes it even more creepy, honestly. And the paintings, it kind of has this weird visual effect where it's kind of hazy looking almost. But some, yeah, some of these paintings, such as Tiny Huge Island, uh, Womp's Fortress painting actually kind of creeps me out a little bit for some reason. And the Wet Dry World painting kind of creeps me out a little bit. The Tall Tall Mountain painting kind of creeps me out because of those mushrooms. Dude, I can go on and on and on. Uh, the Rainbow Ride, there's something off about the Rainbow Ride painting, man. Even though, if you look up Rainbow Ride painting, you see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much about this. The paintings in this, this, this game kind of creep me out. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that creeps me out. So the last thing that creeps me out about Super Mario 64 is Peach's Castle. And let me elaborate about that. Exploring Peach's Castles uh, specifically for the first time is kind of um, unnerving because you don't know what you're going to see when you open a door. For example, uh, when you, like I said, the tiny huge island paintings creep me out. So if I open a door and then the first thing I see is that giant painting, that's kind of unnerving or when you know you're exploring the basement do you see that lethal lava land picture that scared me as a kid or this this, in this all the secrets 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 and surprises that you see while exploring peach's castle uh the bowser paintings endless staircases things like that are kind of creepy and you know what two things that top it off is the walls and the music the walls are a prime example of a liminal space because it looks like something that you would see you know on the walls of like a, a, a i don't know like a daycare that you used to go to or something or your elementary school but nobody is there there's no npcs really in in peach's castle there's a few toads here and there but that's it the music and the music is is I'm sorry, it's an iconic track, but it's like, it's kind of uneventful. Ba, 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 na, na. And I don't know. It's just, it doesn't have that much going on. And then it just makes you feel so alone, so desolate feeling. It is a prime example of a liminal space. And this is, I think I said it in the last segment that this is the first encounter that a lot of people have a liminal spaces but that's personally what i think creeps me out about super mario 64 there's nothing really else that makes me you know feel weird this is a great game arguably one of the greatest games ever made but if you like this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content just like this and let me know down in the comment section below what things creeped you out about playing super mario 64 when you were younger.